What is going on guys, my name is 4G here on this channel, Mr. Supply Drops. Today I have to just make a very quick video talking about some interesting news we have when it comes to Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 2023. Today I was going to originally make a completely different video going over the best map in every single Call of Duty game, and actually I did in fact make that, but it was halfway through editing it, and now I have to make this video, so that'll come out in a day or two, but this is some news coming from Bob Network UK over on Twitter. This is a apparent insider. Again, take all of this with a grain of salt, um, but this could be true. And honestly, I'd be willing to say that at least some of this is partially true. So let's jump right into it. So something we know now about Modern Warfare 3 is there could be red dots on the mini map as we've had in every single call of duty so this could be the first modern modern warfare game that has red dots on the mini map when people fire an unsuppressed weapon now this person says that he didn't know uh specifically if it's going to be with a perk or if it's just in the game as it should be without any perk if it's a sledgehammer game, look at Vanguard. They did it with a perk system. Uh, it was called Radar, and it basically did the exact same thing. It gave you a classic minimap. It was kind of stupid that you needed a perk, but at the very least, we had a perk, unlike Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 2019. It's not like that at all. This is required to be a fast-paced game, and honestly, I think that... I really don't want it to be a perk. I want it to actually be a part of the game because then the game will just naturally be faster paced. If it's this slow paced garbage that we have with current Modern Warfare games, I don't want to play it and I'm not going to get it. But if it is in fact going to be like it should be where it's just everyone has it naturally no perk required nothing like that if someone fires an unsuppressed weapon everyone on the enemy team can see that and that's how it is that's how it should be and the reason we need this right is because the average call of duty player is not the best at the game right so some people at least especially model for 2019 don't know what the f to do when there are no red dots on the mini map so you can say i don't want people to red dot chase well guess what man that's just how it has to be sometimes first of all that's not how it is if you're a good player you don't red dot chase that's not how that works okay and second of all for people who are less good they kind of need that because it's basically it, it's a way to get them out of corners because they see someone now this doesn't always work of course there's always been campers and all that in call of duty but not having this makes it even harder to actually have people move around and not camp in corners like there's just a higher chance that people are going to camp if this is not in the game the next thing is and this is another thing we've needed uh, apparently there is going to be ninja likely returning the ninja perk is likely going to be returning which is huge there is something called gear in this game so the perks are going to be categorized into gear so your helmet is going to be a specific perk it's probably going to be based off the sounds of it your helmet is going to be like your tier one perk you know the blue perk or whatever uh tier two is going to be your your chest piece I, I don't know what you would call that uh <laughs> you know just the regular body armor part of it i guess that's going to be your tier two perk your boots is going to be tier three i'm guessing that's how it's going to work by the sounds of it and if that's the case honestly that's a cool twist that they haven't really done i don't think yeah no i don't think that they've ever done that in a call of duty game making it so the specific items on your character are what the perks are and maybe it's just a complete uh, you know something only done in the menu so it doesn't really matter i don't know uh we'll have to see but it sounds like an interesting way to mix up the perk system and hopefully it is nothing like the timed perk system because i'm telling you if this game is just modern warfare 2 2022 with original modern warfare 2 maps with red dots on the mini map with a ninja perk this could be an actual really good call of duty game like i'm not even joking it actually could be because the problem with modern warfare 2019 and the problem with modern warfare 2 2022 is all of the issues that the developers caused themselves and they will not change it because that's their design philosophy that's not gonna change any infinity ward game as long as they keep doing this i'm never buying another one right but modern warfare 3 2023 because of sledgehammer's design choices this could actually be taking the good from these games the new modern warfare games and leaving all the bad behind which is what we should have had in 2019 and modern warfare 2 2022 but whatever you know i mean it's just three years late actually longer than three years what am i talking about it's gonna be four years by the time the game actually releases but either way it's something that i really do like and um, it's, if that's the case, finally, thank you, Sledgehammer, for doing something. Also, I have to throw this in there. I always have to throw this in there. Infinity Ward, you're the worst developer. 
Sorry to break it to you. You're a shell of your former selves. You make some good animations. Whoever's working on your animations for your weapons and your movement and all that. Not, not, not like the movement of Modern War 2 2022. Modern War 2 2019. The movement in that game. You know, whatever the animations are, the character design, the graphics, all that is great. You guys are doing a good job. But whoever's designing the actual game and the, the maps, like the design of the maps, not whoever puts them together, right? Yeah, you might want to find a different, uh, different type of genre to develop for because fast-paced Call of Duty, not the, not the way, man. It's not the move. It's not really working for you. I mean, maybe it's working for, for all the casual players who have no, who don't know any better. But anybody who's played Call of Duty for years and you've known the greatness that these old CODs used to bring because they were fast-paced, and then they just also had. There's just a whole bunch of great stuff to them, but we're not going to get into that fully. But either way, the next thing, and this is the last thing that we know so far, this is not really a good thing, and I hope this is just because it's in an alpha stage. It's not even supposed to be revealed yet. But apparently, the UI is similar to Modern Warfare 2 2022, uh, and there's an image here. I can't look at it, but it's basically just uh, three... Uh, but this is basically just a, a crop screenshot because he apparently can't show the rest of the screenshot. But um, this is basically just the Modern Warfare 2 2022 uh, UI. Yeah, it really is, but blue. I, 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 I'm not going to show it on the screen just in case I can get a copyright takedown or something from that. I'm not risking that. But um, I'm pretty sure that's... But, but right now, that's all it is. Uh, again, hopefully it is just a temporary thing and they change it. But um, I'm, it's not looking too good. Still looks a little bit better than the current model for 2.2022 one, but uh, uh, let's hope that they do change it up because it's not, that's not a good UI. It's really not. But, I mean, I'd rather take the UI being crap and everything else being good than, you know, a good UI in a crap game. So, regardless, what do you guys think about this? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Are you looking forward to Modern Warfare 3 2023 or are you a fan of Modern Warfare 2019 and 2022 and you like the slow-paced gameplay of this? Which, at that point, I don't know why you'd be watching my whole video i feel like you would have already been annoyed by the fact that i'm absolutely shitting on your favorite game at that point but either way that's gonna wrap up this video if you guys enjoyed it like it'd be greatly appreciated if you were new here and you like videos like this make sure to that subscribe button down below and yeah thank you guys so much for watching have a great day